A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. As they were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and on the third day he will be raised. And they were greatly distressed. When they reached Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax came to Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the temple tax? He said, Yes, he does. And when he came home, Jesus spoke of it first, asking, What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tribute? from their children, or from others. When Peter said, from others, Jesus said to him, then the children are free. However, so that we do not give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook. Take the first fish that comes up, and when you open its mouth, you will find a coin. Take that and give it to them for you and me. Jesus, in this strange little story from the Gospel of Matthew, we've just heard his prediction of his passion, his death, and his resurrection, and everyone's upset, and they're heading towards Jerusalem, and into Matthew's Gospel comes this complicated, extraordinary story. And I think what Jesus is clearly doing here, he's saying there's a difference between strategic and tactical goals in the kingdom of heaven. He says to Peter, look, we don't really owe this tax, but because we don't want to be distracted and we don't want to get into a tussle with these folks, we'll just pay it. But just so that it's clear that I'm paying it because I'm choosing to pay it and not because I must pay it, he demonstrates his sovereignty over something as essential as the elements. He says, we're going to pay this, but you're going to go down to the lake and throw a line in the water and grab a fish, and in that fish's mouth will be this coin. It's a fantastical tale, uh, but this story is here to tell us something about Jesus's way of holding two things together. Jesus's way of saying life isn't simple Uh, Jesus's way of saying life can be complicated and I can make tactical maneuvers while demonstrating my connection to the source of life, his father, and the the very elements of, of creation. And so I'm not exactly sure what this story means for me or perhaps for you this day, except to say that I find it somewhat reassuring that Jesus is telling us through this story, through this demonstration, he's telling us that life can be complicated. Um, You can hold more than one thing together. You can be, this is reminds me of be wise as serpents and gentle as doves, but this is be mindful of what's worth fighting for with earthly powers and be reminded that you are connected to the God of uh, who has created this universe, the God who is the father of Jesus and, and connected to the kingdom of heaven in a way that doesn't have to be perfectly enacted. Jesus says, I don't owe this tax, but I'm paying it. There are other times that you and I probably make those sorts of accommodations in our spiritual life where something's not quite right, but we, we make a choice to go in a certain direction simply because it keeps us from getting too far off track. And, and there's a greater goal, Jesus says. He's got a direction. He has a purpose. He's moving towards Jerusalem. He's moving towards the revelation to his followers of what is to come, where he goes on to encounter and defeat death and, and the risen Christ to bring all of us more fully into the kingdom this day. So... May God be with you in this strange and complicated little tale, and may God help you to find the places in your life where this assurance that life can be complicated and faithful at the same time might be an encouragement to you. So may God bless you on this day, and may God bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen.